What's going on, world? I'm your host, George Kill, and welcome to Sneak Peek Season 6, Episode 4. Well, we've seen an all Reebok pump collection courtesy of DJ Senator, an Adidas stash thanks to John Wexler, and Jumpman Bostick's basement full of Jordans. For Episode 4, we head back out to Portland, Oregon to put the spotlight on Alaska Native Phase 2 stunning PE collection, which consists of exclusives from the likes of Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, and Terrell Owens. Check it out. All right, Nice Kicks fam, we continue the West Coast Wing, this time with my man Jermaine, better yet known as Phase 2 from Alaska. What's up, What's man? going on, man? How you doing? Chilling. How you doing? I'm doing just fine, man. I had to come out here and check you out. Yeah, Portland's nice today, so you came at a good time. Definitely. And so how many pairs do you plan to show us today? Uh, maybe like 30 to 40 pairs. Oh, man. It's a sneak peek, though. It's out of like 300 pairs, so I mean, I couldn't bring everything out. Cool, cool. Small. I know you have some heat, so... Yeah, I mean, it's it's whatever. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Cool. Well, let's go check it out. Let's check it out. All right, let's see. Got my uh, undefeated fours. There's only, I don't know, 72 pairs or so, but it took me a few years to track these down. I've always loved the colorway. It was Jordan Brand's first collaboration with, you know, a streetwear company. So these are uh, Reggie Miller Jordan 16s, well, obviously in pacer colors, but kind of a cool color with the yellow. Not bad, right? right? They also made a home color for these, too. He had 15s, 14s, 16s. He had a lot of Jordans made for him. Wow. So this right here is a, it's a Jordan 10 uh, made for Mitch Richmond. They never released this color. It's got his number two. The thing is, they made this shoe for him when they changed the Sacramento Kings colors from blue to purple. It's kind of a cool color because, I don't know, they, didn't, they, never, they, didn't, they never released them. A lot of the OG 10 PEs are just released colors with the numbers on them. This is kind of, an, kind of a unicorn, if anything. So this is a Seattle Seahawks Air Jordan 3. It was made for Terrell Owens. Um, he was only signed to the team for a few weeks, but they made these. They, they, they didn't make a lot of them, but it's kind of a cool color because the elephant print isn't just on the, the toe. It's actually on the side panel. They have patent leather on the toe and on the back. So it's kind of a unique color. There's not a lot of these out there. Well, this right here is just a it's kind of a weird pair. It's a Zoom Kobe 1 ID from the Houston All-Star. Only a select few people were able to ID the Kobe 1. I didn't do this, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a unique color because it's a mixture of the Chicago Bulls colors and the Laker colors. So this is a Air Jordan 4 made for a baseball team here in Portland. It's a high school baseball team called the Sunset Apollos. It's just a unique pair because it's purple and it's Nubuck. It's game worn, but the thing is it has the tooling they used, there's an airbag on the heel, which is very unique. Later on, they made them for CC Sabathia. The tongue's patent leather too. I don't know if you see that or not, but also the script on the, the flight is different from any other four, which is kind of cool and unique. The sock liner is corduroy. I don't know if you see that or not. You don't see that on any other four, so it's kind of cool. I got this from a thrift store. I get a lot of my samples from like local thrift stores. Um, a lot of shoes are just donated. A lot of people don't know what they have, so a lot of these types of shoes, a lot of prototypes and samples and like hybrids, I get from the Buffalo Exchange or Goodwill. It's kind of kind of cool living in Oregon. Now this is just a, it's an Air Jordan 2 PE made for Fred Jones when he was playing for the Knicks. I've always been a fan of Knicks colors because it has a gradient. Most of the twos that came out around this time had the gradient across the, the mid panel. So it goes from orange to blue, then blue to orange. I don't know if you see that or not, but kind of a cool little detail. Talk to me about collecting in Alaska. I know that seems to be a little harder than collecting closer to the other states. Yeah, you know, collecting in Alaska is definitely different. There's a lot of collectors, believe it or not, in Alaska. Even back then, I mean, I've always collected rare, like rare samples and player exclusives. It's been uh, since 05, 06 when I started collecting them heavy. So it's been a while. But being in Alaska, I mean, all you have to do is network. I traveled to a lot of sneaker events back then. So I met a lot of good people and people who love samples and PEs too. So, I mean, they know what I'm into. And uh, if, if it's time for them to let something go, you know, shoot me an email. We'll work something out. I'm very selective with, with what I've been buying. So when it comes to like PEs, it's, I'm hunting down PEs that I've been hunting for for a long time. Like even general release pairs, I'm down to maybe three or four a year, maybe even five pairs a year. But, really selective. So this next pair, it took me about four 
I don't know, around four years to track down. It's been one. It's been on my gray list, and I tracked them down a couple years ago. It's a Jordan 11 baseball cleat made for Deion Sanders, and uh, this is when he was playing for the Cincinnati Reds. There's a few variations of these, and um, this is the one that I've been looking for, just because the whole upper is new buck, it has a red sock liner, and there's a nice little pull tab on the back. It has a number two, and it says Prime on the tongue as opposed to any other Jordan 11. I'd probably say this is in my top five, easy. Your collection. Personal favorite, yeah, absolutely. This is a Jordan 9 cleat made for Gary Sheffield when he played for the Mets. Has his number on the back. I really like the sock liner. It's, a, it's just a really nice material, but a lot of little details like the bottom half has contrast stitching. Uh, it's signed by him, game worn, and uh, it says game used 2009. 500 home run season. So it's kind of a nice little memorabilia, memorabilia collector's piece. So this is an Air Raid, a Nike Air Raid made for LeBron James. So it's in Cavalier colors. Uh, it's, it has the crimson and the navy. This is actually navy back here. But um, yeah, it's made for LeBron James in 03. And I pulled the insole out already of the other one, but the insole has his his uh, LeBron logo. So this pair right here, this is probably in my top five as well. I love the shoe. It's a um, it's a Kobe One PE made for made for Kobe, and it's it's a dead stock version of the color he wore when he scored 81. They did some 81 pair release. Um, this is a little different than that. This is an actual PE made for Kobe. You could tell the difference between these and the 81 release uh, because the purple is a lot lighter. And uh, the other one had the number 81 written all over. Like there was 81 here, 81 on the ankle. So this is basically just a dead stock version of the color he wore. Now this right here, it's, it's actually a, it's a Jeremy Lin player exclusive. This was, a, this was made for him at the peak of Lin Sanity. They released a, the same exact pair, but with reverse coloring. So the upper was blue. Like I think it was a House of Hoops release, but it pretty much everything reversed. And uh, this is just a special player exclusive made for Jeremy Lin. That was always, a fan of his story, mainly because I'm a big Golden State Warriors fan, and you know, he was playing for the for the Warriors for a little bit. Up next is a uh, just a random sample. It's just the uh, the Max Orange Jordan One, but for some reason, so they have a blue sock liner. So it's just some crazy little sample. I like really weird, obscure samples like this. The tongue Jumpman is infrared instead of Max Orange. I don't know if you can see that or not. Definitely a different, unique sample, but I, like I said, that's what I like hunting. I like hunting really crazy, you know, things that a lot of people probably wouldn't even like. Really obscure stuff. And describe uh, how you got started into collecting, because I know you didn't start collecting PEs off yeah. top, but yeah. where, where did the passion for PEs come from? I've been collecting um, since maybe 2001, I would say, so it's been about 13 years. Back then, I mean, I was in high school, and um, it was all Air Force Ones. I loved Air Force One whites, like, you know, all white low tops, all white mids. Didn't get into highs back then, but um, ever since then, it just snowballed into, like, dunks. I was a big dunk guy, like the KoJP, the Pro B, all the, you know, early SBs. And then I started getting into, you know, Jordan stuff from then. And I'd say, like I said earlier, like 05, 06 usually is when, or I mean, that's, that's around when I started getting into samples and prototypes. A lot of it had to do with uh, the online forums. There was, you know, player exclusive threads, sample threads, and I, I used to get posts on there all the time. And it was just a good way to uh, communicate with everyone else. Because I was in Alaska. So the online forums is uh, really what sparked my interest in a lot of things. The first PE I ever purchased was, uh, um, it was a Michael Finley Jordan 15. So it was white and royal blue. It was in Dallas Mavericks colors, but uh, just a unique pair. This is a Kobe 9 PE and it was made for Kobe Bryant. Um, a lot of difference between this and the release pair is that this panel is purple, as opposed to the release pair, which is like a marbleized gray or, or silver. Um, the swoosh and the, the logos on the tongue are white instead of metallic silver, and uh, there's no stitching around the logos like the release pair. Essentially, this is the same color that Nick Young wore when he broke out the Kobe 9 in the NBA. A lot of people thought that was a general release pair, but it's actually this color. So there's a lot of subtle differences between this and the release pair. I got the Kobe 9 low top IDs on the multicolor. 
I decided to put, you know, blue sock liner on them. But just the Kobe 9 in general, I wear them at least two, three times a week. Wow, yeah. So this is an unreleased shoe. I found this at a thrift store. Basically, push the button, pull, and, you, and that loosens up the, the string. And essentially, it's, it's kind of like a speed lacing system. So it's all loose. Push the button down and twist it and everything laces up. It looks Kobe-esque. The tooling is really cool. It could be a trainer of some sort. It's just one of those pairs that I spotted and I was like, you know what? I'm taking these home. Yeah. You can check it out. Look how light they are. They're... Wow, very light. This is one of those pairs that not everyone likes, but I mean, it's a shoe that belongs in my collection because I love you know, early stage prototypes. It has like the pro combat tongue, which is kind of cool. Kobe 5 is my favorite shoe, that's why I'm so... Really? You know, yeah. All right, so this is the only custom that I have in my entire collection. The Air Jordan 23 is my favorite shoe of all time, design-wise. So I had to get one done for me. My buddy J.W. Dankliffs, so you guys went to his house. He actually did these for me. Uh, he had this, this guy named Absolute. He did the lasering, because the Phase 2 logo is actually lasered pretty deep in there. We decided to go with uh, a Washington Wizards color, because it was... I personally think this is the last, you know, true Jordan in that 1 through 23. Like, yeah, that. I'm biased because it's my favorite, favorite shoe. It's very unique and elegant. We have this, this, you know, fake sample tag just to, just to add, spice things up a little bit. One of my personal favorite pairs too. It's, it's I never thought I'd own these, but it's uh, obviously the Paris Dunk SB. Every single pair was different, and um, I like how there's a lot of pink and bright colors on this pair. But um, it took me forever to find them for a good deal at that. So this is the Jordan 28, but it's a PE um, made for the, I mean, obviously it's made for the Jordan brand classic athletes. This pair was worn by Andrew Wiggins in that game. It's a funny story how I got this. Um, I got this from this old Wichita State player and uh, Andrew Wiggins' brother played for Wichita right. State. So, I mean, it was just a, a cool little connection. I used to be a huge original 1985 Jordan 1 collector. I had about 16 pairs or so. But this is easily the rarest pair that I own. It's an old sample, and the Wings logo is definitely different because uh, it's not filled in, it's just bold on the outline, and it says Nike instead of Air Jordan. Now the leather obviously was a little different because it's peeling and you hardly see that with Jordan 1s now. A lot of little differences too, like the midsole. You see how the bottom is a little bit different. It says Nike instead of Nike Air. This is one of my personal favorite dunks that I have. Uh, it's a collaboration with the old brand Alphanumeric. They did a lot of snowboarding and skateboarding. I used to wear that brand a lot in like early high school. And um, they did two colors of these. They did this color and also like a white 3M color. But there's about 24 pairs each given to friends and family of the brand and you know, Nike, it's Nike skateboarding. Thing is, these, these are Pro Bs. This is before there was a Nike SB. Now this is a, it's a Nike ID. I probably have 20 something pairs of Nike IDs. I did two different pairs and we, sw we switched up all the colors. I mean, people do this today. I don't want to say I was the first to do this, but it was definitely one of the pioneering pairs that leaked on the internet and kind of caused a lot of people to do that. So this is an Air Jordan 3 sample. Basically it's all black, just showcasing the elephant print. The thing is the leather is awesome on this pair. I don't know if you want to check it out or not, but it's, it's awesome leather. Everything's blacked out. Kind of a cool little sample, great quality. Now this is an Air Jordan 3 PE made for Michael Vick. He made the Pro Bowl and uh, they made these just in case he wanted to wear them, I believe. So he didn't wear them, but it's kind of a cool little, little collector's piece. All right, I'm bringing out another Nike Dunk. So I've always loved these. This is a sole collector pair made, I believe, in 2005 for the, they used to have sneaker competitions. And uh, this was the one, this was made for the one in New York. And uh, my buddy Retro Kid designed this pair. And uh, it's kind of unique because every single panel is a different color and a different material. Change it up a bit. This, uh, as you can see, is custom made for Kanye West in his size and everything. It's, it's actually a Reebok S. Carter, but it has Kanye West's Bear logo on the back. Now, like I said earlier, I'm a Golden State Warriors fan. I had to pull these out to show you guys. It's uh, 
Jordan 5 made from Michael Petrus when he played for the Warriors. My favorite Warriors squad of all time was the 06-07 squad. That's when they knocked out Dallas in the first round. This pair was worn in that series. This right here is probably one of my most expensive pairs, but uh, this is a Jordan 9 PE made for Michael Jordan, and he wore this pair. This is back when he was playing baseball. It has his number 45 on the back. So essentially, I got them from uh, an older couple out on the East Coast. Um, they didn't know what they had. Uh, it was actually on eBay. And uh, they posted a few pictures. None of the pictures had the 45 on the back. It was just like a side bottom and a top view. And uh, they really didn't know what they had. It was just chilling in the basement. Apparently they told me that they, uh, they had a friend who used to work at Upper Deck and he just gifted it to them. So I was like, you know what? I've been looking for this pair for a while. What do you want for him? And we just worked out a deal. This is my personal favorite. So Ray Allen's my favorite player of all time. I've been a Rayon fan for a long, long time. This is a pair of 23s made for Ray Allen. My favorite player, my favorite shoe design. I had to get this pair. Because he played in this color in March 2008. I think it was against the Sixers. I ended up tracking this down that year, I think in December. So, I mean, it didn't take me too long to get them, but I finally tracked them down. A lot of other 23s have, you know, player numbers or whatever on the ankle collar. This one just has a 20 on the tongue. I think that was nice and classy. Probably one PE I'm on the hunt for still to this day is the Rayon Home 5. It's white, green, yellow. And uh, obviously it looks awesome, but because of the fact that he, has it, he had his career high scoring in that color, I think it was January. I think January of 06 or something like that. So yeah, we're wrapping up here, but let's go upstairs. I'll show you some other stuff. A little quick sneak peeks, if anything. So we wrapped up uh, all of my personal favorite shoes down there and uh, these are just a bunch of random shoes that I didn't think I'd show. I didn't think we'd have time to film. So here you go, I'll just start off showing. These are uh, Darius Miles Air Jordan 9s. One of the only nine PEs with the icy sole. It's not as icy anymore, but. This is uh, an original Air Jordan Sky High, vintage. When they retro, not a lot of people bought them, but I bought two pairs because I've always loved the Sky High. So this is a Air Jordan 9 uh, BJ Armstrong PE. They made these for him because he made the All-Star game. That was his one and only All-Star appearance in 94. But people always think it's a Bibby PE. It's a, it's a BJ Armstrong PE. It's just an unreleased OG 13 sample. It's a promo pair. It's maroon, white toe, white tongue, white outsole. Just a original wear test sample, white navy, 11 low IE. I wasn't gonna show any of these. I didn't think anyone would want to see. Uh, Kobe 6 prototype, really crazy sole. Reggie Miller, Jordan 14. OG, I like how there's no ribbing or anything, but nice little yellow details. Josh Howard 22s, white, navy, silver in the lining. Slam Magazine, Jordan 21s. Nice Slam logo. White red 12 wear test sample when they first retro the 12. There was, there's no OG low top 12, so. Rudy Gay, Jordan Brand Classic 19 SE. This is the pair he wore in the Jordan Brand Classic game as Rudy Gay's number. Jordan Undertow promo. Has like the, the bubbles on the liner, bubbles. Kind of a crazy color. This is a crazy pair too. It's, a, it's an actual Michael Jordan player exclusive when he played for the Wizards. There's copper, copper. The bottom has copper too. So this is Michael Finley player exclusive. This is my very first one ever. So that was almost 10 years ago when I got this pair. These 17s were made for Michael Jordan's son, Jeffrey Jordan. It's green. It's actually my third pair of these. So this is a Defining Moments uh, unreleased sample. Back then when the DMP came out with 11.6, this was the third pair that was supposed to be in the pack. So all the clothing had like three logos, three emblems because this was supposed to be the third shoe. It represented his first championship, but it took it out of the pack. Another Zoom Kobe one, it's uh, the Stash collaboration. It's made of like this carpet material, translucent outsole. They've got a lot of his like, his accolades stitched on there in gold. This is an unreleased Jordan 20 sample. It's an early sample where there's no patent leather, no crease grooves or anything. A lot of little differences, but it's just a smooth, smooth leather on the upper. Kobe's seven wear test sample, no logos on the tongue, different traction pattern, uh, not too many differences, but it's a wear test sample. 
you find stuff like this at the thrift store all the time here in Portland. So it's kind of cool. The Q flight, but it's the Twitter collaboration. It has the at logo on the tongue. Twitter sky colors, translucent out sole. It's kind of a weird promo collaboration. I love this pair. It's actually a, it's a Nike ID. I played for a Filipino basketball league in Alaska and uh, uh, me and my teammates, the MOB team, we won the championship that year and I wore this game. All right, I wore this in the games. This is actually my first sample ever. It's, an, it's a Jordan 7. It's an Olympic 7 sample when they first retroed. They actually have a number 23 on the back instead of a 9. And the, the leather's a little different. And this triangle piece is usually navy nubuck and it's like a white leather. Gilbert Arenas Reebok question. Wizards colors, so it has a navy toe cap. The eyelets are like that, that gold color. It says Agent Zero. It's signed by Gilbert on the toe. Shock Stunner is made by, uh, made for Baron Davis. Uh, has his uh, BD1 on the strap. Number one on the side. So this is uh, the trainer, but it's a, it's a multi-color that released, but it's a sample version. It has an all white sock liner. It's a little more milky on the sole and the laces are different. So this right here is uh, the actual Ray Allen game worn pair when they beat the Lakers in 08. It was uh, when they came back from the biggest deficit, TGIM. So this right here is the pair that he wore like in that game. Air Force One snakeskin ID. I just did every single panel different. So it's a SE trainer upper with a trainer one four foot strap and it has a free tooling on the sole. So it's like a three shoe hybrid. Check the leather out though, it's really crazy. LeBron 10 Elite ID. Kind of wanted to go for the Louis Vuitton Jasper look with the, you know, the bronze liner, pink midsole. Yeah, so you, you just did your own part two in the part one. <laughs> Well, I wasn't even gonna show any of these. I, I was weeding through all the shoes I have and I was like, you know what, I'm only gonna show a select few, but I still have a lot of stuff in storage downstairs too, but uh, I don't got time for that though. I mean, if we do a part three, we'll come to Alaska. That works, because all my stuff is still in Alaska too, so. Oh, no, thanks for coming up, man. I'm Thank you, Faith. Blessed and fortunate to have, I mean, what I have. I don't have a lot of shoes. I don't have as much as a lot of other people, but. All right. You collect what you like. Exactly, that's what it should be about. Collect what you like, buy what you like. Who cares if no one else likes what you have? They're your shoes, right?